problems of today are not just in silos, right? They're cutting across science, business, communication, English, computer science, engineering, and our students, because of the core and because of our technical foundational skills in computer science, are ready to solve those problems. We don't just turn out technicians here. We just don't do that. We graduate broadly educated people who have a, a love and a skill in a particular discipline. Our liberal arts school has a focus on uh, not only how successful you're going to be, but also who you are as a person. And that's very important. It drives you to explore other parts of your life that you had no idea were open for you. It's a well-rounded education. You're not just in one spot learning those hard skills. You're taking these hard skills and you're thinking about them critically. That is the Jesuit education aspect that you're really getting at Gonzaga combined with that amazing community. I think Gonzaga places a large emphasis on not only being a strong programmer in the CS department, but being able to have those interpersonal skills and be able to empathize with people that aren't from the same background as you in order to make a positive impact on the world. Students are pushed to think about the user or think about who's impacted by this research. For example, for my senior design project, we had a little exercise we had to do where we had to think about, okay, what are some possible implications of our project? What's our target audience? Who are we reaching? They've definitely done a good job of introducing us to these concepts and how to make our software more ethical and more inclusive for others. The world out there is different than the world one reads about in the textbooks. And I try to approximate that in, in my classes. The emphasis is on projects rather than taking examinations and doing homework assignments. Students have to sit and think and cogitate and work in teams. Many, many of us engage students in our research and that's the part that I think is unusual about Gonzaga. Because of this closeness with the faculty, I've been able to do research in important and meaningful work and work on incredible state-of-the-art technologies here in Spokane um, and through the school. Gonzaga has invested in a STEM building that integrates our science and our engineering programs. It's 82,844 square feet of space that the basic sciences and engineering and computer science program occupy. What it means for us is an opportunity to expand our offering of research for faculty, as well as opportunities for students to do research at our faculty. It's not just about creating another engineer or another computer science, it's really looking at the total person and be mindful of things like ethics and professional standards. One thing that I'm confident in is that I've been put in situations here at Gonzaga where maybe in a project I've had to learn a new skill. And so one thing that the CS department here fosters is being able to be a lifelong learner. The last summer I had an internship in data science and what I kind of found was that a lot of what I was learning in class can be applied to the real world and internship experience and eventually full-time positions. When students enter into Gonzaga, they enter in with the camaraderie that comes with a cohort. They go through orientation together, they go through their first year seminar as part of their core classes together, and when they start to specialize in their major field of study, they take a lot of those classes together. These range from app development courses in iOS and Android to data science topics like machine learning and artificial intelligence, natural language processing, to topics in cybersecurity, computer networks, and applied cryptography. Those base skills are completely important, and Gonzaga does give you those base skills, but they take it one step further, and they give you these life skills that help you to think about every possible perspective of your impact. The place is alive with students. They, they, they gather together, they work together, they work in small groups with faculty. They come here with a sense of self, and they have a sense of purpose, and they have a sense of community. I think Gonzaga is a great and amazing place to be because of the interactions that you have with faculty and because it allows you to be free with your ideas and be free to explore to places that are unknown to you and where you can learn and grow as a, as a person and as a computer scientist.